Hello, my name is Mariana. I'm an instructor at Game U, and I'm here to teach you how to model a blue shell from Mario Kart in four easy steps. Step one, the blue shell base. Using the base cube, go into modifiers and add the subdivision surface modifier. Change the viewport level number to two. There's a little drop down menu next to the modifier title. Click it and hit apply. Now in edit mode, go to edge selection, click the button up top to turn on proportional editing. You can click on the side of the shell or what will be, and click the move tool and start dragging down to add that curved shape of the shell on the sides. With proportional editing on, you'll see the shape start to form. You can use the scroll wheel while dragging on the move tool to bring up the radius of your editing tool. The larger it is, the more edges will be pulled with your motion, and the smaller it is, the more focused your pull will be. Once you're happy with your shape, go to face selection and select the top part of the shell. Go to Mesh, Separate, by Selection. Blue shells have a lip, so you're going to add an edge loop or a loop cut around where the lip starts. Then you'll go to face select and extrude the faces that make that lip. This is the white lining of the shell. Select the top and bottom edges of that white lining and go to the bevel tool. Bevel until you get the desired smoothness around the white lip or the white lining of the shell. From here, you can edit a little more the shape of the object by doing the same process of turning on proportional editing, being in edit mode, and just grabbing edges to move around and sculpt. When happy with your base shape, right click on the object in object mode, click shade smooth. This will smooth out the shading of your object. Step two, the bottom half of the shell. To model the hole in the front of the shell, add a torus. There are options that pop up. Don't click anywhere else, otherwise this option box will go away. So this option box allows you to adjust the major radius and minor radius, as well as the segments. We don't have to worry too much about the segments. Let's just adjust the minor radius to make the hole of the torus we added as thick as we need it to be. Once you're happy with your numbers, feel free to use the move tool and place it at the front of your blue shell. Using face select in edit mode, select the mirroring sides of the armholes, go to the extrude tool and extrude them inward. When happy with the depth of the extrude, go to add modifier in object mode and go to subdivision surface to smooth out the work you just did. 
This will round out the what was once a rectangular shape into a curved semicircle shape, thus making it look more like an armhole. Once again, click on the little arrow next to subdivision surface modifier title and apply the change so that you see the new geometry. To match the smooth bottom, you're going to go to the top half of the shell and do the same thing. Add modifier subdivision surface. Apply the change. Now we're going to select edges on the bottom part of the shell to make the ridges. While in edge mode, double click to select a whole edge loop. Try to select about three or four lines that are evenly spaced and go all the way around each side of the shell. Click on the bevel tool while in edit mode and bevel those edges ever so slightly. Click on the original edge loops of those beveled edges now and individually scale them uniformly inward making them smaller and adding ridges to the bottom half of the shell. Alright, step three, we're going to add spikes. Add a new mesh and add a cone. Make sure in the options box there are 32 vertices. Move the cone in object mode to sit nicely on top of your shell, right in the center. Now duplicate the cone and move it forward as well as rotate it angled outward from the shell. While clicking on the cone, go to Add Modifier, click on Mirror, click on the axis, whether it is X, Y, or Z, whichever flips the spike on the front to be the spike on the back. The great part about the Mirror Modifier tool is you can see your changes live. Duplicate the front spike and see two copies as it's still being mirrored move and rotate tools and start placing your spikes on the outer rim of the top shell. This step can be tricky. Make sure you turn your camera 360, look at all the angles of the shell to make sure that your spikes point outward and upward. When you're happy with the placement, click on another axis until you see it flip over to the other side of the shell as well. For me, the axis I have highlighted are X and Y. From here, you can make adjustments as well using the Move tool. Step 4, final step, are the materials or the texturing of this shell. I'm doing the hard part first by separating these materials from each other. So the holes of the shell need to have a black material since they're on the inside. Go to face mode while selecting the bottom half of the shell and select the faces that occupy the holes. Go to mesh, separate by selection so that you don't have to do this tedious selection process again. While in face select mode, make sure you select the white rim of your shell. Mesh, separate by selection. Click on the red ball, which brings you to the material editor. Click on the little plus sign and click new. Name your materials and assign them. While you're on the materials, change the base color, yellow on the bottom half of the shell. Make sure you click on the matching ball icon in the top right of your viewport. 
so that you can see the material changes you're making. After you've made your selections and assigned your materials, it's an easy change of just clicking on the material, changing the base color, and playing with the colors as you see fit. Once you're happy with your materials, go to the world icon. It's a red globe, and you can click on color to change the color of your background here. Make sure you're in the render mode on the top right. You can click add up top to add some lights. Play with lights using the rotate tool, clicking on the little light bulb icon to adjust the power. This part is total creative freedom. There you have it, you've modeled and textured a blue spiky shell from Mario Kart. Take out those in first place. Thank you so much for watching, and check out our other modeling videos.